So if you guys don't know, if you guys are reaching this, this video for the very first time, uh, I'm Brazilian and uh, I've been living here in Ireland for almost six years. And uh, all this time far from Brazil, I've been seeing how things there are changing, but are changing in a very weird way without sound alarmist because everything looks so weird and so bizarre. And I'm talking about this because of the latest news regarding homophobia. It's funny because it happened in Rio de Janeiro that one of, I mean, you can find a lot of a, a huge gay community in Brazil, in, in Rio de Janeiro specifically, but the Rio de Janeiro's mayor censored a comic book, a Marvel comic book from the Avengers because of a gay case. And, uh, and uh, he compared gay kiss with pornography. Anyways, let's talk about this. I'm Clayton Crispin, and uh, if you like this video, if you like my videos, and if you, you know, want me to post more things, you know, so consider commenting, like, share, and subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, because this way you're gonna be notified every time I upload a new video. And also, I love commenting, so okay, I read all the comments, I like this interaction with people. So uh, if you are polite, your comments are very well welcome. Otherwise, your comments are not welcome if you're a real person, if you're just here to be hateful. So you're not welcome. So go to find another video, right? So I would like to read an independent article written by Chiara Giordano. It highlights Brazilian mayor orders Avengers comic removed from book festival over gay kiss. So the article says the mayor of Rio de Janeiro ordered an Avengers comic book to be removed from a book festival because it featured two men kissing. Brazilian politician Marcelo Crivella claimed the book should be confiscated from the Rio International Book Biennial to protect our children because it contained content that it's unsuitable for minors. In a video posted on Twitter, the evangelical bishop said it was not right for children to have early access to subjects that do not agree with their ages. Mr. Crivella, who once claimed homosexual people were victims of a terrible evil, later added that the decision to round up the books had only one goal, to comply with the law and defend the family. He said the works should be in sealed packaging with a warning about their contents in accordance with the Child and the Adolescent Esta Statute, the ECA, yeah? Estatuto da Criança e do Adolescente in Portuguese. So, Mr. Crivella's comments were prompted by a scene in the 2010's comic Avengers, The Children's Crusade, which shows superheroes Hulkin and Wiccan, who are boyfriends, kissing. The mayor ordered officials to seize all copies of the book, written and il illustrated by Alan Hainberg and Jin Chiwang, from the book festival. So the article continues. However, the events organized refused to comply. Brazil's O Globo new newspapers reported. In any case, according to O Globo, eight of nine stalls selling comics at the festival did not have the book in stock, while in the ninth had sold out two days before the mayor's statement. <laughs> so he basically worked as a marketer for the, for the comic books. <laughs> Organizers of the event said it gives a voice to all audience without distinctions as a democracy should be, the newspaper reported. An illustration of the two Avengers characters kissing was also printed on the front page of the Saturday's edition of the daily newspaper Folha de São Paulo. Mr. Crivella's instruction to remove the comics came just days after Rio councillor Alexandre Esquerdo criticized the same book during a statement at the city hall. In a video posted on Instagram, the councillor claimed the book spread homosexuality to children, adding parents only realized the content later an awful crime. Yeah, so this, this, this new was highlighted not only on Independent, but also on, on The Guardian, yeah, that it highlights Brazil paper, publishes gay keys illustration in censorship role, 
and also on The Hollywood Reporter, uh, Avenger comic featuring gay kids banned by Rio de Janeiro authorities. And of course, you can find this in many other newspapers. Hi guys, I would just would like to bring an update because meanwhile I was editing this video, I came across uh, with a statement from one of the artists, Jim, Jim Chum, regarding this censorship in Rio de Janeiro, so from Rio de Janeiro's mayor. So Jim says, it was with great surprise today to learn that the mayor of Rio de Janeiro decided to ban the sale of my and Alan Hamburg's book Avengers, the Children's Crusade, for alleged inappropriate material. For those not familiar with the work from 2010, the controversy involves a kiss between two male characters. Now, I don't know what prompted the mayor to seek out a work that is almost a decade old and that had already been on sale for many years, but I can say honestly that there was no hidden motivation or agendas behind the work in promoting any particular lifestyle nor targeting any unique audience. The scene merely depicts a tender moment between two characters who are in an established relationship. As an artist, my passion is to tell stories, stories of great heroism, compassion and love, with as authentic and diverse characters as possible. Characters that depict every walk of life and color, whether they be black or white, brown, yellow or green. The fact that this book from almost a decade ago is now being drawn into the spotlight by the mayor perhaps only highlights how out of touch he might be with the current times. The LGBTQ community is here to stay and I have nothing but love and support for those who continue to struggle for validity and a voice to be heard. I hope the beautiful people of Brazil, the wonderfully diverse and proud nation, will see through this political noise and place their focus on the light and on ways to unite rather than help sow the seeds of conflict and division. People, a uh, gay community in Brazil, I mean, LGBTQ community in Brazil had won many wars against this type of uh, homophobic attempts to seize their freedom, to seize the, the, the right they have to be what they are. But it seems, you know, it feels like we have already stepped, you know, we have already walked, you know, 10 steps forward and came back, you know, eight forward, eight, eight steps back. And all this has been happening, all this commotion has been increasing after Bolsonaro's election because everybody knows Bolsonaro is a piece of... Yeah, because he's a homophobic, he's misogynist. You can say what you can, you can tell what he said about, about Macron's, about Macron's wife. He's a racist. But I specifically about this, you see a lot of politicians, especially the evangelical ones, they felt empowered by his speech. The next, um, how can I say, the next census in Brazil is going to show that the evangelicals, they are the majority in Brazil. You know, before were Catholics, now are evangelicals. So uh, those these politicians, you know, don't be fooled. I don't... I, I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure that half of his intentions, of uh, uh, Crivella's intention, is to attract the voters, you know, the evangelical voters, aiming the next year's election, because next year we're going to have election for mayor in Brazil. So half of his intention is aiming this. And of course, another half is because of his, his religious beliefs which is, no, ridiculous. Brazil, I mean, in theory, is a secular country. It's funny, that's why I'm wearing my, my ES Equality badge here, 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 here. <laughs> and also here, that it means ES Equality in Irish. Ta, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly anyways. Um, because it's funny because, I mean, Ireland is very Catholic still. I mean, the Catholic church here is very to know present, especially on the schools. But it's still, Ireland, as I said, and I think on one of my videos, I think it was the video, um, the React video 
uh, of Madonna's Madam X, I'm saying that Ireland was the first country in the world to approve the same-sex marriage uh, through a popular vote. There was a referendum, and most of the Irish people, I think 61%, 60%, around 60% of voters, they voted for, for the yes, all right? So, um, which means that people shouldn't mix religions with, you know, individual freedom. But uh, people in Brazil, they don't realize we're still, we're still a very young country. Our democracy is very young. We still have a lot of, you know, a long way to go. But uh, this is censorship. Because, I mean, he said, the Crivella said, he, he was trying to do this in accordance to the, the Child and Adolescent, Adolescent Institute. This institute says that no pornography or nude scenes, the no explicit nude scenes, should be presented to minors. And if they are selling the no this on a, in a comic fair and in ways, that should be covered. You know, like in adults, a magazine, the note should be covered. But uh, it is a comic book from, uh, from Avengers. It's a Marvel comic book. It's not a pornography. So he compared, you know, because he was doing this in the... Because, I mean, the Statute says explicitly this, you know, nude, um, nudity, yeah, and uh, sexual, explicitly sexual, or written, or pictures, anyways, anything that implies a, this type of sexuality or sexual content, you know, or pornography, which wasn't the case. So he's based the censor censorship in a, in a very um, bad interpretation of the institute. We have a mayor in Rio de Janeiro who doesn't know how to read the bloody law. He doesn't know how to read to read the law. That's it. There's no there's no argument against because it's very it doesn't says there. In the, in the Child and Adolescent Institute um, that homosexuality should be forbidden for, for children. It doesn't say it like that. It's his religions, not the population re religions. Even though they, they, they are becoming the majority, but still they are not everybody. I'm not evangelical. My dad is evangelical. So, uh, and there are a lot of people who are not evangelical. We have Buddhists, we have um, uh, 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 what is it called? Afro-Brazilian religions called Candomblé, like my sister. So uh, we have a lot of religions there. We have Jews. And we have atheists as well. If we want to do things according to your religion, do it. But I don't want to apply this type of things to other people because this is just not right. This is just not the way things are. That's why I'm saying we still have a long way to go because politicians in Brazil, especially the evangelical ones, they don't realize, they're still not realizing, because the majority of people follows a religion, it doesn't mean that everybody follows the bloody religion, right? And that just pisses me off, seriously, guys. It's so, it's so ridiculous. Rio de Janeiro has such amount, such an amount of problems, a lot of problems, poverty, you know, the city is a, is a, is a chaos, uh, of course, the violence, you know, the city has a lot of problems. I, I used to work in a city council or city hall, depending which country you're speaking. Um, so I used to be, I used to work, I used to be a, a civil servant. There are a lot of problems. There are a lot of real problems that really need to be, you know, solved. And I can sure, I can ensure you, homosexuality or gay keys, lesbian keys, whatever, is not a problem. It's not a problem. I mean, it's ridiculous for me to say this because it, it should be so obvious, but it's not obvious for them anyways. So yeah, guys, so I, I just wanted to share this information with you. So um, I really would like to, you know, I really appreciate your opinion, you know, dropping down below. What do you think about this? What do you think about this censorship? As always, I'm gonna post the links. I'm gonna post the links in the first comment down below. So it's gonna be a fixed comment with the links to these new papers I, I am referring, all right? And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, share with your friends, with your family. Thank you once again for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.